All right, welcome. This is a very action-packed rando afternoon here. Link the past randomizer Invitational League playoffs. Uh, we've got one of the fan favorite modes here for the first round of brackets between the perfect unadulterated gaming squad or pugs, represented by Matt seventy nine eight, being piloted by Dante, facing off of versus the Bratwurst buddies, uh, represented here by Tato, being piloted by Skelly. Uh, it's going to be actually quite an amazing match. Runners are just about to get ready. Uh, this is uh, two amazing runners, two amazing pilots, uh, two amazing commentators, if I don't say so myself. Hello, Shady, how's it going? We've got the <laughs> amazing Serio X tracking for us. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm very excited about this. The, I'll make no bones about this. This is clearly the best mode in Rando. Oh, of in course, all of Rando, uh, yes, without you're exception. Right. Oh, are you spoilers are. All, like... Spoilers close to the best, but like co op just makes everything more fun. So this oh, is like the pinnacle. This is the pinnacle of all Rando modes. You are absolutely correct. I am I am very much in agreement with you in, th in terms of your. Uh, it's, well, it is technically an opinion, but you know, I, I do believe it is a fact. All right. No one can dispute us because we're the only ones uh, that have the mic. So, you know, we're. <laughs> our, our word is yeah. basically. That's yes, is, uh, is the word. Yeah, but you're absolutely correct like pilot spoiler um it is man it is pilot spoiler is so fast so furious and you know it really takes a lot of uh adjustment dy dynamic you know uh i guess considerations both for both uh the, the pilot and the runner right so so right we've already started looks like we've already got some uh pretty divergent routes at least opening route uh, i do have i do remember that in the past pugs uh so matt dancy andy uh tend to maybe more favor the uncle start so basically you know you pick up a sign try and kill a, a guard or something see what they drop if anything good and then we're gonna go get the secret passage uh and uncle and then i guess if we have something else that's more interesting we can we can keep going and escape Tato looks like he's actually going to try and maybe get a uh, more sure quote-unquote thing by these 50-50 bomb drops. Um, we've already got two, and then we're going to basically make our way into Kakariko. Yeah, like, it's it's kind of hard to say. The only, like, there's tons of different openings you can do with this spoiler, but I, was, I don't really like the ones where you waste a lot of time before you just run to Kakariko, because usually the best route is to go to Kakariko. So I mm -hmm. kind of don't mm -hmm. like Hulahan opening, but what both of these guys have done seems very, very sensible to me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like now, now Cheeto has bombs, and it's likely you're going to want bombs for three different check. Well, I guess four if you count Maze Race in Kakariko. Um, Matt seems to have got a three pack as well, so I think they're okay. We'll we'll see where they end up going. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Right, and so, right, and one of the, I guess, like, consequences, right, of Tato's route uh, in this uh, opening is that, so you can certainly farm as many bombs as you want, but keep in mind, of course, uh, you got a little bit of RNG, you know, in your, uh, maybe either to your favor or, uh, well, in this case, or you can get a little unlucky, but you do, as you mentioned, you want at least a couple bombs to, to try and... Uh, I guess like a uh, hedge against maybe some you know chicken house back of blinds hut uh, bombs are and money is probably one of the hardest early resources to come across. Uh, but looks like we're actually going to skip Kakariko for the time being. Uh, on Matt and Dante's side, we um, we actually we just visited Lost Woods actually to go find a bombless finale and a lamp. Very interesting. Yeah, so um, I'm guessing this looks like uh, Sahara and Eastern and. They've obviously mm -hmm. decided within this two minutes that they've had that they can go to Saha Eastern and either they can complete Eastern or they don't need to complete it or must dip, must dip the area. Right, right. Um, yeah, and mm -hmm. Ooh, we got a pearl here in the back. A good thing there were actually other bombs. Okay, so I mean, okay, from a, I believe from a pilot's perspective, <laughs> seeing bombs inside Kakariko is one of the best things. I mean, that is money, right? Just because... You know, when you're trying to scramble basically for a bomb, you know, I was like, oh, we see the pearl back there. Uh, how do we, how do we get it? Uh, <laughs> and then you just start to panic. <laughs> so it's always really nice to be able to just have the resources. Oh, we got, we got, okay, we got, we got flippers here in the back of Saha. Uh, oh, you think something is in the water checks? Uh, maybe on Zora Ledge? No, I think oh, something's oh. in Eastern, and I oh, think the flippers shady. are just on the way in. <laughs> I was gonna say, Shady, uh, good thing you didn't pull this, uh, you didn't pull the seat. I don't know if uh, Zelga's spirit would have been broken if we had to head over to Eastern here. This Zelga, Zelga would have been a broken man, all right. Yes, yeah. I know. It would have been like a huge handicap, but you know, it's okay. Uh, these guys are uh, un unfazed uh, from uh, the single dip of Eastern, or sorry, uh, potentially double dip. Uh, we do see actually Serio X has already uh, been very kind to mark all of the prizes for our dungeons, so we do see that Eastern is a crystal. So unless in this case we actually find, uh, still potentially possible, the big key to Eastern and the bow here in this dungeon, we are going to come back for this. Someday we're going to find those, mm -hmm. and then Some we're going to be very wondering. excited. Yeah, uh, but, actually, um, you know what? I, I'm actually today looking is not at. Day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm actually looking at uh, Tato's tracker side uh, with Bartworth buddies, and it looks like uh, Sarius already marked the Bikini Eastern Palace. 
Um, actually, and and now, uh, Bratwurst buddies are actually coming over here to Saha Eastern. So now I'm kind of curious. Like, hopefully, there's nothing in the big chest that people care about, or at least Matt's. Yeah, the big key was in the well, but I'm guessing the bow is not available. So okay. they probably would have grabbed it. Yeah, the bows uh, mm -hmm. are in the dark world, so they're not going to get the bows. Okay, before, all so. right. Okay. So this is. Uh, Oh, I'd, I'd, I wonder how necessary this dip of Eastern is. It's obviously desirable, but I wonder we, how yeah. necessary it is. Oh, okay, because, well, we're we're not only going... Well, okay, okay, we have a lamp, so at least maybe this trek is so bad. But yeah, we're coming here bootsless, uh, walking all the way to the Eastern Palace Big Key Chest. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the uh, top reasons why people do not like to dip Eastern Palace. Matt's gonna die uh, by the Popos. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, everything, everything's fine. Uh, yeah, there's, there's that... Yeah, <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, but I mean, well, so I mean, so both Tato and uh, Matt are, are going over here. So, you know, I, I guess even if it's maybe not necessarily required, uh, if both people ended up doing it, you know, it's it's going to be a wash, you know? So there's not going to be any time loss or time gain from this. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Uh, I actually just have a quick look here. Okay. I'm Shady, wondering if this is are, actually... Are... Oh, no. Oh, no, Matt. Uh oh Oh, no. All right. Okay. Uh -oh. Really, yeah, really nice recovery. Oh my gosh. Okay. That. Okay. That is a hundred percent worth it. <laughs> Holy cow! It I... might not be. As what no, I'm shady. saying. Shady. No. 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 Shady. <laughs> <laughs> we. Listen, we can't. Listen, listen. We, I'm we not, might I'm have. I'm not gem. Okay. Right. The gem, uh, I don't have the same love of boots. I have the same love of the mirror. Okay. Right. Not boots. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair. This, but I, I don't know. this Wait, may this... or may not be worth it because that was a long trip to get uh, the. Well, uh, the boots, and it oh, might be possible okay. to single up Easter in the seat, but we'll see. Okay, all right, we we will we will see. Okay, because this this honestly this might be an instance where you know we would do agree to disagree. However, <laughs> uh, given that okay, when you said when you when you search up the bow locations, you just said Dark World. So I can potentially believe that maybe if Dark World access comes a bit earlier and those bows are you know a bit more accessible, like maybe not this is like buried somewhere, I might actually like. Um, you know, it actually might be you. You actually might be correct against just single. Nah, I'm not correct. Nah, I'm being devil's advocate. It's definitely worth grabbing those bits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, also, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, like if you are, you know, if if you are, you know, potential runner, potentially, like, you know, has a, you know, potentially strong aversion to single, you know, to double dipping Eastern Palace, you know, again. You know? That's, uh, that's 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 the way they roll sometimes, you know. Yeah, our team last season might have rooted this differently. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh wait, we wouldn't have because it wasn't a mode last season. Oh, good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Right, okay, there are the boost potato. Um, you know, and honestly, like especially okay, right? And, and part of this mode, right? People can actually you know watch the restream. They can watch each other's streams. Runners are allowed to do this. And honestly, like if I were probably in Tato's position or Tato's Kelly's position, if I see in this case that. Uh, my opponent, especially like Matt, is rushing the boots. Like it's really, really like probably to your benefit that you know you don't have like you have you have boots for basically as long as possible, right? Like counter because the longer the man has boots, especially with his you know one twenty four energy execution, like the like the, the rougher it is going to be to try and make up time later on, on him. Yeah, you uh, should we... you should go get the boots if it's faster to go get the boots. Pretty much, mm -hmm. I think. Uh... I think um, from from experience and spoilers, it's generally pretty worth it to go out to go and rush the boots. It's it's very rare that rushing the boots first is not a uh, mm -hmm. it's not the best play. Yeah, well, actually, looks like potentially. I'm not sure if uh, delaying Kakariga. Oh well, okay. So speaking of, uh, we suddenly have Dark World access between Matt and Tato, so we both have the pearl, and it looks like Matt's gonna actually head over to Ice Rock Camp to go get his mitts. Uh, it does not actually look like that there was enough money in order to get uh, to buy the glove off of Bottle Vendor, and I guess with no apparent flute in sight, we are actually gonna farm the rest of the money here in uh, near the in the 20 Rupee Cave in Ice Rock Cave. And then uh, it sounds like then Tato is going to be able to, you know, go back to Kakariko. And actually, you know, I was actually thinking, I'm like, man, this actually might be, you know, maybe Matt in this case can save a little bit of time. But uh, presumably on the way back to Kakariko with Tato, because that's going to be his Dark World access, they can go straight into Village of Outcasts, right? So yeah, that may not be necessarily that bad. I'm kind of surprised Matt didn't come here first to get this glove before mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. going into Kakariko. I feel like that was a wasted trip to Kak. Um... Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. That's good, but because they completely avoided Kakariko the first time, right? Yeah, so I, it like paid off for him, but then he mm -hmm. kind of gave that time back by dipping Kakariko. Unless there was something I'm missing. Maybe he didn't have bombs or something. Uh, he, he got three bombs from Sanctuary. That yeah, was, that that's was true. Clear. So, mm -hmm. on, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, we'll see. We're also getting more money, by the way. I, well, 
how much money are we farming here? That's my question. Maybe it's what, a lot what, of money. Yeah. Uh, because well, this is, I mean, at this rate, it's so it's so few money. It could be like chess game money. Um, oh, true. Okay, okay. Yeah, you. Oh, great call, rupees, shady. Yeah, like, great like call, shady. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm like, there's no way we're farming Zora money, right? 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 <laughs> must, there must be more money somewhere. Okay, yeah. That's Hang true. on, let me look at this log. Okay, right, where's all, all right, the money? Okay. <laughs> where's all the money, yeah. guys? Come he on. He seems certainly <laughs> very, very poor. Although, you know, uh, actually, now that you mention it, right? Uh, so, so Teda was also over there at the 20 Rupee Cave. Um, they farmed enough money to get... <laughs> after very uh, long and... Uh, bartering, uh, haggling, I guess, over that, over the mitts. Uh, Tato finally got his mitts. I was actually, yeah, I was wondering in this case where the extra, like, 20 rupees the chess game money is gonna be. And it looks like, actually, we're just gonna farm the well again. This is actually really nice, uh, like, thinking about, basically, like, resource management, right? We're just basically trying to, like, scrounge together some amount of money in order to afford things, and, uh, really to be able to kind of have, like, a heads up, like, okay, I know we can get money, you know, type of thing, and to basically yeah. do it. Very well done. It's hard to plan it out like it's when it's this early in the seed as well. Like mm -hmm. in theory, it's probably oh, not yeah, the fastest sure. way. Um, probably some sort of tree pull might have been better or something. But uh, it's a very pragmatic way of getting money when you have to go to Ashore Caves. Just lift the rock and get the money. Oh there. yeah, yeah. It makes right. sense. <laughs> like it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Oh, we got a nice real, nice real sword here in uh, in the brewery. So always a real bonus here to have with the boots. Yeah, I was even thinking like, so this is pilot spoiler. There's no study period. It's not like regular, I guess like open solo spoiler where you have 15 minute study period. Uh, you don't have to necessarily be the fastest to, to discover where all the items are. Uh, you don't, you know, you have to time to kind of plan out your route, you can go find all the money. Uh, here, your pilot is really just limited to uh, your runner saying, okay, where do we go to next? And, you know, you are in a giant scramble, right? Because not only have to send your runner somewhere, you also have to figure out what you're doing for the next, you know, five, five-ish minutes, maybe, <laughs> you know? And so you have so much to do and to be able to kind of scramble and, as you mentioned, do uh, basically do, do something very, like, that's practical and pragmatic, not lose too much time is really, like, the best way to go for it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it looks like they're not dipping into Thieves' Sign, which is a, uh, a pendant, of course. So maybe Thieves' Sign's completely unrequired this seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very possible. Um, or maybe they'll have to dip in later. I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Um, so, so now yeah. this is going to be a fun Skull Woods fight if they're going straight to Moth. I uh, I am also looking at this. Yeah. I oh, okay. Well, we got we got Matt here in the. Uh oh, that's that's not necessarily a great thing. Uh, I was going to say this is Matt easiest room in the game. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's not getting very good. Uh, I think no. things are despawning, right? You need to kill uh, at least one of the jellies before the uh, the pots pr um, prizes won't spawn. Okay, good good to know. Okay, all right, and talk about being so pragmatic. Yeah, yeah, I actually so really like this by there, my map. There we go, so we kill them now, and then... Mm -hmm. I don't know if he needs to pick up that drop, but he's obviously doing it to be safe, and now mm -hmm. the uh, magical appear. Yeah, and he and needs this magic for his one shot to get into the back of Skullwoods, and then he's going to have to scrounge his way uh, this is this is very this is, annoying. This can't like wow. I'm really scared. I I'm really scared. I was actually even thinking hmm. like okay, well maybe they need a little big key chest and skull was in which case I actually really like Skelly and Tato's move to go to the back of Escape in order to go get Samaria. Uh, I mean I understand that of course Matt is you know is again easiest room of the game for him, but still like uh, when you're on three hearts and have nothing. Yeah. It's just much easier to use Samaria, but looks like we are going, yeah, both to at least the bridge chest. Oh, oh maybe it's just it's here. here. So we're not killing the boss yet, possibly. Okay. So that's fine. That's why they don't need to go and grab the magic. Like, there was magic beside the big key chest that they could grab. Mm -hmm. Um. Then, in this case, I do... Ah, oh, this is this tricky is scary, because you want to kill the boss because you're right here. But yeah, yeah no, this is, have this you is crazy. have you seen this equipment? <laughs> no, the equipment's crazy. I like oh my gosh. Yeah, I I very much uh, I I very much understand, and uh, honestly, I actually might just endorse it. I mean, so certainly both you know Matt and Tato are doing are you know both leaving. So really, like it's really of no uh, time loss. And honestly, like yeah. unless you are, I think either as a, as a team or as a runner, are very very confident in your ability to die. I you know it's just probably like a net time gain or whatever like or not time lost to kind of come back with better equipment like yeah it, how many like how long does it take to go back to the, to the back of skull was again like i don't know like one minute or something like that maybe one and it's a half very, it's very slow um it's quite a long but time if, but but it's like but if, if you, you die, die then, yeah, yeah uh-huh you like that's nobody's good at fighter sword moths like if you have a hammer some some people are very good at that fight 
um, because you mm -hmm, can just get your mm -hmm. hammer hits in. If you have maybe more magic available, then you can use the fire rod, and maybe that works. But just fighter sword, that's 16 slashes. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very it, practical it is, decision. Yeah, very it is pragmatic. super, super scary. And yeah, actually, even looking at their magic bars, right? They still need magic in order to get to the back of Skullwoods, too, right? Like, while well, talking about a hammer. Great hammer location, by the way. <laughs> nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, looks like we got a little bit of hesitation here for uh, for Matt's side. Getting some better instructions, same thing with Tato. Where are we finally Both of them, going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to pod? No, we're saving quick. <laughs> saving quick, okay. Oh, well, so Matt's at least going to go to the back of escape. He hasn't done that yet. And this is, and honestly, like, from a, you know, as a, as a pilot, like, sometimes you just need, uh, okay, like, what do you, you need, like, some sort of backup plan, you know? And sending your run to the back of escape will just buy you another 25 whatever seconds or something like that. And you're not trying and uh, get to the next set of directions. But of course, in this case, back of escape is going to be required regardless. Uh, we did see the cane here and of course we're gonna get some armor we're not gonna get armor is that what happened where do we get was armor? the armor back there too I, th I thought it was armor oh it is armor yeah matt just skipped the uh oh what well, matt okay matt giga matting i guess the game <laughs> or something i mean that that is that is quite the that is quite the message uh, um, to send to your opponent if you decide to not pick armor in the literally next chest I don't think Matt's getting the next armor either, so oh, I think yeah. that's a pretty that's a pretty material mistake. Like that could seriously cost, unless there's a lot of very convenient hard containers in this seed, and it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, that armor upgrade is, is, a, is very useful. Mm -hmm. We can we can ask him about uh, whose decision it was to uh, to to skip that armor, whether it was Matt because you know he just wants to make a statement, or you know Dante who wanted to make Matt make a statement. You know, we'll we'll see. <laughs> Uh, none of them consciously decided to skip that. It was just like a, it was like a miscommunication or a miss or it something. Is, it's right? No, no, yeah. There's no way they deliberately right? skipped that this area yeah. in the scene. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna farm a little bit more money and time. You know, uh, talking talk about a stingy scene. You know, this is. Uh, we're also diving into Pendant Swamp. It looks like. So something certainly good must be here. We don't have the hookshot. We may not actually see the hookshot for what it's worth if, uh, if you know, nothing in this case is going to be hookshot lock, uh, for unless the hookshot is, you know, in here. Uh, we have a flute. Oh yeah, I didn't even, I, I didn't even forgot. This is key sanity. We didn't have the swamp small. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we we just needed. Hopefully we are. We hopefully we will not be back in swamp. Uh, it looks like we want this big key as well, so this is quite mm -hmm. convenient. Oh no, we don't want that. No, we don't want that big key. Oh, what, what's you are on? correct. Yeah. We, oh this... no. <laughs> oh the no. Big oh, key. Oh, no, God, Shady, yeah. no, 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 I... Shady. Look, <laughs> let me live in my bubble. You know, I, I don't want to be depressed already by seeing that we have to pick up the the big key to a pendant turtle rock. Green oh, pendant, I guess. We yeah, the reason we have to pick up the big key is quite funny too. So. Oh no. <laughs> so like, so you know, like the the big key, uh, especially for Turtle Rock, because it only really locks the back half of the dungeon, right? That is even more ominous. I mean, okay, granted, yeah, yeah, like Laser Bridge, you know, me memes, you know, is probably like, oh yeah, there's probably always something on Laser Bridge, etc., right? Uh, yeah. But that kind of indicates, right, that we actually need a couple, a bunch more stuff. We are gonna need at least Quake, it sounds like, right? Because that's the that's the medallion. Uh, we need at least two Turtle Rock keys, maybe three, depending on how far we have to go. Uh, and of course, well, we, we already have Samaria, and well, let's hope in this case we do, that Ice Rod doesn't have to show up either. Oh, it just like this is—I don't think this is relevant to the seed, but the uh, the swamp small is on Laser Bridge, so this. So if you did have to beat <laughs> that's swamp, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's quite funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that would be uh, a yeah, required game, dip. Game, game, game has games has a sense of humor that game you know you, joke, even yeah. yeah, like you can't uh, some you know it, it's like. It's, you would think it might, you know, be scripted, but yeah, this is, you know, this is how that's how reality TV got, you know, gets born, right? It, it's like scripts, you know, writers can't come up with this stuff, but like it just, you know, it just happens. <laughs> oh, I we okay. I've done some more perusing of the log. This is a very funny seed, very like, interesting. Funny. See, should, should we break out the popcorn immediately, Shady? Yes. Or should we yeah, go? Should we go yeah, make we up should, the popcorn right now? <laughs> we, should, we should break up the break out the popcorn right now this is actually oh. quite funny I, i'm i'm just i'm only <laughs> now and then looking through it but uh there's some fun stuff going on mm -hmm. i certainly trust your judgment on this because uh, you're certainly one of the you know one of the best pilots probably in the community you know you are the, uh, the namesake team the spoilers so very much believe uh we are really scrounging here for money by the way matt took the time to go pick up 20 rupees on spec rock which you know isn't that big of a deal we also see another 20 rupees here picked up in the bottom of paradox 
Is this pod money? Uh, maybe? Where, where are the yeah, seem, it seems like it's pretty stingy. That's a good question, Mouse. Yeah. That's a very <laughs> good question. Is it here? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no, no, it's we not have here. A big, okay, we have the Vicky Dice Palace. <laughs> I actually don't know if if okay well okay well we, we, I guess we're gonna need a big chest ice palace because you know I, I was actually wondering okay like if Matt is uh, opening up like targeted chests you know in these you know five item caves or uh, you know like or he's just kind of opening up everything you know that uh, that Dante is gonna tell him uh, but it sounds like in this case we're you know he skipped the first two chests so yeah it, was, uh, it seems it seems to me that money is a bit tight there's no handy money anywhere. Yeah. Because oh, they're kind of scrounging, mm -hmm. they still like. Where did Tito get all his money from? Yeah, so Tito rescued the old man. Uh, yeah, at least according to uh, our tracker, Sarah UX. Uh, he, yeah, there was or uh, cross stage. Oh, the old man. Um, okay. Yeah, there's. Yeah, and so they they rescued the old man, and then they went to go get the flute. Whether or not that was intentional or not, like they have money now, right? So, actually, it might actually been worth the time. I, you know, we're going to see uh, what Man Dante decide to do in terms of getting the extra cash. Yeah, you know, I think like, it's still faster to rescue the old man with the flute and just go okay, in the okay. back door. That must be faster because you don't have to go around to the rock and go. Yeah, that's that true. Yeah, so that oh, must yeah, be must be better yeah. to get the flute first. But rescuing the old man not just gives you the money if that's the best money available, but it also gives you a mm -hmm. save point, so it's a little bit faster for saving quits and stuff. Going true. to the mountain, for yeah. example, so you can save a bit more time back that way. It's just a fairly reasonable place mm -hmm. to get money from. Oh well, alright, so we have uh, backdoored our way into Desert Palace. It looks like we have obtained the first, oh sorry, second of, well, m maybe we need one more key. Uh, maybe we need two more, hopefully not two more. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. alright Matt. <laughs> I was like, are we gonna go, uh, are we gonna go kill Invitrius? Oh, we have more things to do in Meyer's head? Okay. Is it, if this is gonna be the big key, um, I'm gonna be kind of scared. Oh. No, close. <laughs> close. It was a small key to Meyer. I was like, well, okay, I guess in theory, like, the big key to Meyer can still be inside Meyer. And there was certainly nothing uh, preventing that situation to happen. Uh, that might be what ends up happening because we are actually going to go open up Meyer right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, Shady. So talk about talk about equipment here. Uh, this this is really stressful, I think, for the runners. Like, in theory, you could have actually yeah. beaten a Mothula on three hearts, fighter sword, like nothing else, right? No magic. Uh, no, no hammer, like, and here we are inside Meyer potentially, like, looking for. Oh my God, dude, how do you even beat this boss? Uh, they're not going to be beating the boss this okay. trip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked up okay. with the big key for Meyer. This seed's getting worse and worse. This is one of the worst seeds I've seen. This is how actually, many bags? How many bags of popcorn really are we bad. supposed to be making, Shady? Like, how long are we uh, here? Several. <laughs> several. <laughs> I, several. I <laughs> I, I don't. Oh no. Well, okay. Well, good thing. Good thing we've got a front row seat here because I cannot wait, basically, to see. Uh, honestly, okay. So it sounds like it's kind of a nightmare for both pilots and runners. Like, you know, as like when you're discovering like more and more things, like where things are, right? It's like what else you need. I think as a pilot, you're just like face palming the whole time. It's like I need this and I need this. We have to go do this and then you know all the meanwhile, like your runner is like, um, I have to do what now? Fight miters? Uh, fight Mothula on three hearts? Uh, fighter sword? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's still a very good decision, I think, for them to not attempt that because I'm. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's so difficult. Like at least wait till you get it, a it hammer is. or a master sword or something. All right. Yeah, so actually, so there's it more stuff like... in Meyer. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it, it sounds like actually to go to Meyer shed. I'm um, not even full of course the heart container, but it looks like actually that extra small key really is helping uh, Matt route Meyer a little bit nicer. You know, just because no, this you don't have to necessarily like take detours or uh, you know take the seat across or anything. We got another. Well, he went right first, so I don't think the small key saved him anything. It's only if you go left first that the small key would save. Oh, time. true. I guess that's true. Matt did so he went zero in keys, so he just got two pod keys from Meyer. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, it is. It is very interesting. Also, the meanwhile, though, Tato was all the way uh, in Hera. It looks like we actually have our first completed crystal dungeon. Uh, no hookshot means that we just went up the, the, the normal way. Uh, we also do see that Hera is a 5-6 crystal. Uh, might end up mattering. I guess we'll see in this case if there is pyramid fairy money. Uh, if there, we, if we'd have to go spend more money, uh, Matt and Dante are in uh, even more dire straits. Like we're gonna have to, you know, really hustle up some cash. Well, here. they're getting their three hundred right now. I oh think. yeah, that's, that's a good point. Okay, well then their hustling is over. We only had to basically scam <laughs> out an old man. Uh, you know, don't don't worry uh, it about. Looks like a dead here. rock to me. I don't think we you're getting are... past him. <laughs> this is this Oops. is the old man's revenge. This is his you know, security detail. <laughs> He's got some bodyguards. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that long, slow walk around yeah. the dead rock, too. Oh, it's painful. Yeah, it, it is painful. I mean, especially in this case, like, I mean... So, so while the, the armor upgrade would not have helped Matt in this situation, you know, it's like, when you're stuck, literally between a rock and a hard place, the dead rocks are frozen, uh, it is very, very difficult. Like, you are pretty much at the mercy of RNG, and you can really actually just get basically destroyed uh, there. Yeah, I think the the blue mail helps a little bit. Although the cabbages still do full hard mm -hmm. damage, but um, you can get, you can end up in the spot there in the spoiler sheet fairly early, and you don't normally think about how dangerous Dead Mountain is, despite the name. But when you're there early <laughs> enough in the spoiler sheet, it can just kill you. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm you would think the name was a giveaway, but you know, people have short memories. You know, I would actually think that you it should be like littered with skeletons, right? Um, not you know for skelly or anything, right? But you know, it's, it's like it's like you see death as opposed to you know you're trying to maybe you would think that all the the, the, the dying would have been done by the time you got there, but you know, all the previous dead adventures. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <you> know? <laughs> all right, it looks like though we're just gonna finish up. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna trade little spots here. Uh, we're coming. Oh no, we're doing Dark Death Mountain. Right, right. We have no hook shot. I I forgot that we have no hook shot. By the way, we're okay. So so at least on Matt's side, we have re we have retrieved two TR smalls. We have the King of Samaria. We've got Quake from Paradox. Uh, okay, what is in the front of Turtle Rock? Well, we can go quite far in Turtle Rock, can't we? Yeah, yeah, we can go uh, all the way. Basically, uh, yeah, we have the big key. We can go, all the, way to, we can we can go all the way to Laser Bridge. The Laser so Bridge. It might mm -hmm. not be in front. Let's have a look. What kind of All right, so it looks like we're gonna do rock? Super Bunny first. Maybe there's another something that we need here in Turtle. Actually, Shady, do you know like if if it's faster to go into Turtle Rock when you were there and then get the stuff and then come back out? Oh, we're just getting magic. Wait, we're getting um, magic. He need to for the medallion to open Turtle Rock, I think. He did not have magic. That makes so much sense. <laughs> um, I really feel like. I guess they didn't know at the time. They thought at the time when they weren't beating Skullwoods, okay, we don't need the magic, but they've just gotten no magic since then. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. That's so painful when you don't need anything in Super Mario itself. It is. Oh my god. I was actually even wondering, like, there's a tree outside of Skullwoods, right? Or like the Kakariko portal? You yeah. know, that has big magic? I don't know, man, were they ever close to that? Well, they were Maybe. the wrong side of the pegs because oh, right, they, right. they, we they had, had no the, hammer. the Mitsu yeah, Rock yeah. instead. They didn't mm -hmm. have the their hammer was late. Right. So they weren't very, really that close to it. Yeah, the Skullwood's big key chest, the pot behind the bomb wall there is probably their best magic. Mm -hmm. Surely there's like a prize pack. What's What are these prize packs? This isn't the yeah, spoiler dog, man. Thanks to someone in particular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you should, yeah, everyone should be using this knowledge to the full, you know, the full extent of their abilities. <laughs> uh, speaking of, though, I think it uh, looks like Tato is also going to be a little bit short here on magic. One thing that they actually did earlier, I thought, though, was they beat Hera. So where did all their magic go? Um, that is a good question. I don't know, maybe Chad was paying attention. I was too busy, <laughs> like, glaring at the spoiler log. Yeah, true. Opening Mire, okay. yeah, opening Mire costs a quarter. Uh, oh, I guess probably he used some magic in Mire 2, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, yeah, excellent point, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so no, now so... he's oh, the torches. about to be very right. sad okay. here. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, actually, yeah, even considering. So, like, I think Matt and Dante potentially uh, did they did they have the hair? They do actually not have the hair bikini. Never mind. I don't remember where that was. Maybe it was in the well, uh, or in Kakariko somewhere. But yeah, that was definitely one thing that if they had the bikini, uh, they could potentially actually just beaten hair like when they went up there and they got the magic and they didn't have to necessarily take the detour to Super. Oh Party. yeah, it looks like that was in Hype Cave. So oh, okay, could have okay. done that. That would have been kind of cosmic brain, mm -hmm. but I guess they didn't realize the magic situation until they were already. Yeah, yeah. No, and it's, and it's very it's very easy to kind of overlook these things because you know magic is uh, just like anything else is a resource, but it's a very like passive resource, right? As in like something you think, oh, okay, I can instill a fake flipper. Okay, just you know, just just do splashily, right? And like because I have the bow, it's like, do you have any arrows? It's like, oh. Man. You know, it like doesn't come up very often, yeah. and then you just kind of assume that you just have the the ammunition to do whatever you want once you have the item itself, and that is definitely not the case. Yeah, there's um, some seeds are actually not that hard to root, but uh, this is not one of them. Yeah, yeah, this, this is definitely so much like a real big to this. <laughs> there's so much intricacy to this, mm -hmm. like the uh, the money money management, um, the magic management, and there's just so much ordering like they've done things in slightly different orders and maybe not the most efficient but like this is a mess of the seed like this yeah, is not this, easy this at all 
<laughs> this looks like one of those scenes where maybe the pilot doesn't necessarily mind if the runner dies once because they're like, oh, okay, have a couple more minutes in order to, you know, try and figure out the rest of this girl. But yeah, this definitely looks like it is a lot of, it is going to be a lot of travel or like errands running basically just in order to, you know, get, because we don't even really have anything right now to be able to beat. Like any dungeon, right? Oh, there's a small key to swamp. <laughs> oh yep. my gosh, we're going. Okay, so okay, at least required looks like double. Oh. Dip swamp. okay, we have a bow. Okay, wow, what? Small oh. key to swamp and our bow, nice. That is that is that is kind of disgusting, actually. <laughs> okay, so it looks like a double dip of. Well, okay, is it technically going to be a double dip? Could you could we have gotten to Turtle Rock without going into swamp? I think it's probably still worth it to go get the flute, maybe. Probably. Well, what was in the Meyer area? Didn't they need? What? It was a I, don't know where small? I don't know where. Oh, there was. A, oh, there was a Turtle Rock Mall. Yeah, yeah. There was a Turtle Rock Mall on Desert Torch. Uh, so unless the book was going to show up somewhere, probably would have been just worth it too, uh, to go get the flute out of out of skull or out of swamp. Um, the the other Turtle Rock Smalls are are all available. So okay. they the desert was probably one of the faster two, but. If that wasn't available, like if there was one or two others, they could have grabbed as well. So, okay. so you could, in theory, do this without the flute. But okay. uh, the flute okay. is a good mobility. Like, yeah, so. yeah. Uh huh. Oh, for sure. And then probably also, especially like um, that early. You know, again, you you mentioned. I mean, we're even watching this like firsthand, right? How how complicated the seat is. You know, I certainly very much understand if you know if Skelly and uh, Dan's here just like just just go get the flute like Swamp Small is super buried somewhere let's just go get it and especially the flute also gives you a lot of mobility so you can probably even buy some of that time back right in order to get basically anywhere on the light worlds oh I guess we do yeah okay I missed it first time but yeah we are going back into Swamp so we do need something in Swamp so it is a required double dip great by a laser bridge yeah thanks Seed oh my gosh this Seed's great this seed, this seed is yes, great. Uh, do you do you have a definition um, in the dictionary of great that I'm not aware of, Shady? This, this is this <laughs> is a great for, for a uh, this is a great for uh, for viewers and commentators. Okay, that is very fair. <laughs> These swords are, you know, I I you know I, I do understand. Okay, we did see one early sword in the brewery, which I'm sure both Matt and Tato are extremely thankful for. Uh, I'm kind of wondering, you know, where the rest of them are because we're at least on Matt's side looking down to face, you know, Argus, and you know, Fighter Sword Argus isn't meant to necessarily be like the the one. Although maybe we don't have to beat them because we still don't have the hook shot. We're probably not. <laughs> well, unless the hook shot's in here, we're probably not worried about the back. Well, unless there's a triple dip of swamp. You know, this could be a triple dip of swamp that... required. That shady. What? Okay. <laughs> When you said several bags of popcorn, I am believing you. If that's the <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we've actually seen some divergence here. So Matt and Dante, you know, certainly we're seeing them here inside Swamp Palace, at least in the front. And as you mentioned, if the hookshot is here, then we have access to the back. But um, until then, I guess we're going to keep our, our our eyes peeled. Tato, on the other hand, a Skelly has sent him in to do Ice Palace. Oh look, there's yeah. the book. Holy, disgusting. Do we? <laughs> Do we need that? <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. We're also doing left side swap this seed. Oh man, she. <laughs> this is uh, only the beginning, by the way. <laughs> I, yeah, this is. <laughs> you know, you know, it's like a, when you see literally like a, you know, like a plant seed. You know, it starts to grow, and you don't really, you know, it's kind of like a mystery plant. You just hope it doesn't turn into like a piranha, you know, versus like a, you know, like a lily or something. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm really wondering how many spike teeth we're gonna see at this point because this is, this is. <laughs> Oh, this is looking so scary. Meanwhile, we have Tato in uh, Ice Palace doing Icebreaker, at least with Samori, which is good. But again, like, this is a crystal dungeon. We're here. I, I do not like our equipment uh, in order to go be Cold Stare. I was wondering I mean, I why Matt had grabbed the pot key before. And sorry, I was talking about Swamp. I was wondering why Matt had grabbed the pot key before uh, hitting the switch. But that's because he doesn't the hookshot to get the other mm -hmm. keys. Yep. I'm just yep. realizing that now. Yeah, I mean, imagine this coming. Is, who this is kind who of would come into? I bet you wish you had that blue mail, Matt. Yeah, this jelly can, yeah. This jelly oh can my hit you. God. Oh my god, that's only half heart. <laughs> okay, I, I can't watch at this point. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Matt. This is my 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 anxiety is like through the roof right now. He just has to I'm survive. Sorry. This is not an easy room to survive, and you're you. Oh, he doesn't have the cape. Oh my. No, no, Matt. <laughs> no, Matt. No. Oh, 
I don't, so bad. Oh, he's a fairy oh, in the bottle. Okay, I was okay. wondering what was in the bottle. Um, I guess they bought a fairy. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. They was a hype cave. That's right. Okay. Tito doesn't want a fairy. He wants a magic refill for Ice Palace. Otherwise, he's going to have an awful cold stir fight. Oh my he's gosh. Okay, better. we finally. Yeah. Holy frick, dude. This is the Bikita Desert in back of Pendant Swamp Palace. Okay. In the on left side of uh, Pendant Swamp. This is yes. terrible. Yeah, terrible, terrible that. scene. <laughs> uh, we still have no hookshot. Um, so, Tito. I think Tito wants to use the fairy before the boss so he can uh, have beams to duplicate oh, his fire rod shots. I think that's yeah. probably what he wants to do. Well, he should have enough magic refill, right, for um, for the two pots? He will have enough, but it's just he wants to have more magic so he's not doing... He wants to use some magic for the boss, for the um, for the main oh, part Oh, I, well. I, I see what you mean. Because it just yeah, speeds yeah. it up a lot, mm -hmm. I think. I mean, he could just do the fire rod shots and make do with the master sword and hammer. I guess that's a that's an option as well. Yeah, and oh, like master bumbles. sword. He's bumbles. I'm I'm stupid. I forgot about that. Oh, I mean, well, still, I mean, master sword like automatically does make the fight just like a, a whole heck of a lot nicer, you know, versus fighter sword. Uh, certainly, one sword is better than zero swords. But actually, look like yeah, we're gonna uh, Matt uh, after the very harrowing trip into Pen the back of Pendant uh, Swamp Palace. He's gonna make his way into. Uh, Ice Palace. Um, actually, really nice uh, fight here on Tato's side. A lot yeah, of Fire Raja well. uses. Mm -hmm. Look, we have more money. <laughs> 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 what do we need all this extra money for? Oh, well, okay, so Matt used to do buy potions, but could we just not have gone into Ice Palace for the money instead of. Uh, he's probably in Ice Palace. Oh, well. What was the equipment like earlier, though? Palace. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think it's very fair. Like you maybe and and honestly, like having like money on Colster isn't necessarily something that maybe you would think about in order, in order up getting. Um, because again, it looks like there are like 100 different steps basically you have to take in the seed. So uh, I can certainly understand that one minor detail is just going to elude you. Yeah, it looks like the trading place is now, and Tito's going to do swamp, mm -hmm. and that's going to continue in Ice Palace. I think. Have they covered everything of that each other has done now? So, can we say that when they come out of these dungeons, they'll be they'll be equal on checks? And if that's the yeah. case, then it looks to me like Matt has a little bit of a lead. Yeah, I'm trying to think. In this case, what Tato has done? Uh, no, Tato has Hera cleared. Uh, and oh right, not. yeah. Okay, yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so that means a pretty level, I think. To my eyes, Matt should get Ice Palace cleared. He has to do Ice T, which is kind of slow. But he will have Ice mm -hmm, Palace cleared mm -hmm. before Tito has gotten to West, left side swamp. He, in theory, could not do Ice T. You know, I, I don't know of anybody who actually like willingly give up a sword, especially if it's. I mean, Ice T, I grant, grant it is kind of far, and you know, relatively speaking. But man, it's <laughs> it, it is really, really hard in order to give up a master sword at this level. Uh, well, yeah. If the other swords were placed well enough to not get this, they would have those swords already. It's just, yeah, that's very true. So, yeah, this I is think... this is a bad house. <laughs> Yeah, these the source here is certainly very challenging in this case for runners. You obviously want, you know, the game to be Omega playable from your eyes, right? Boost and Tempered Sword. Uh, that being said, you want to try and get as close as possible, but uh, this is kind of it's been it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty low level. Yeah, I'm at, and you can actually kind of see the consequence of the not having a hookshot. I, mean, I don't know how much a hookshot kind of help in this situation, but you still have to go deal with ice physics, right? And you know, always just have the hookshot. It makes can, at least it can let you clear out the the shadow dudes. Oh, it would help a little bit to get to those pots, wouldn't it? Although Matt did oh, a true, great yeah, job, yeah. to be honest. He oh, didn't for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the beams as well. Although he yeah. may still, he's still using bombos anyway, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's definitely not going to be enough magic here for him to use all the fire rush shots. And but <clears> he, that being said, he doesn't have as many shots as Tato did. Um, if you do it well, you only need the four shots, which he does have. Okay. Okay. Um, if you spin to the left, you can get four, and you can get each shot to hit all three of the puffs. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need a little bit of luck with the with the cold stare movement as well. Yeah, nice spin to the left side. Ooh, got most of them. Alright. Not quite all Oh Matt Oh oh that's right. Good that's job. Cool. I don't know when you get the blue job, move, but that's great. I... That's a great that's a great pickup and now we can just spam it. Yes, it is. Who needs blue mail, man? We don't need blue mail. That was literally <laughs> three pixels from us. <laughs> I know. In a way that hit didn't matter because he's Wants to use his blue goo anyway, just to make exactly, it faster, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, like the safeties in this case, especially having uh, these, you know, these bottles. 
I mean, like, there's a reason why, you know, you you have to it's just so much also mental comfort as well. It's like, when you hit the panic button, literally that is your menu button, you switch over to the bottle and just use it. You know, way, way nicer in this case for mental and physical comfort. Yeah, in this case, blue pod is better than blue mail, but if I'm neck and neck with my opponent going up the gauntlet, I'd rather have the blue mail than the blue yeah. pod. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Uh, very pragmatic here on Matt's side, by the way. I mean, you know, like, he literally, like, flew to right over with that extra money from Ice Palace. We're going, we're just gonna buy another blue potion. Um, the fact that he is on, he does have seven hearts. Um, you know, which is, which I think even most people probably say that's kind of, you know, com comfort, uh, comfortable in terms of health level. But, you know, still, just in case anything goes wrong, you know. Um, this must uh, be as the are, yeah, desert mouth, clearing on mouth? Tito's head. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have, uh, and notably, they did not get the book, I think, right, from Compass Chest? So, that's actually, and so if we actually don't need that book, then, you know, potentially that's going to be actually a little bit of time save that Tato and Skelly are going to have over Matt and Dante. Because it, it's not, it's, it's non-trivial to go get the Compass Chest. It's probably one of the slower ones. It's like, pretty slow, yeah, so that's a little, if, if, okay, one of these guys made a, a decent size oversight. Either the one who got mm -hmm. the book or the one who didn't. Yeah. So um, that's actually quite significant because it actually looked like uh, it was pretty close when they left. If you include the uh, the potion purchase as well, mm -hmm, and because mm -hmm. Tito has Hera completed, uh, Tito's probably in the slight lead here now. Yeah, so we're gonna see. Uh, as, as a lot of it's gonna matter in this case where that temper sword is as well. You know, as you mentioned, Gauntlet is can be pretty hard if the temper sword exists. Because well, and by ex exists, I mean is somewhere they're gonna get. Although, to be fair, they've already been pretty deep in most of the Pendant Dungeons already, so... <laughs> there, can't be that, there can't be that many awkward places for it to hide. Yeah, I, 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 think, you, I think you misspoke when you said if, Shady. Uh, I, I remember it distinctly should be when. <laughs> that, that, is, that is how I know how to play this game. <laughs> Well, we don't need Temper Sword, at least for our land molas. We, uh, I see that Tato has not enough arrows in order to do, like, the, the best fight, but, you know, we'll, we'll just make do with Fire Rod here. Unfortunate, yeah, you just have to make yeah. do, you know? Right, well, Matt is on, uh, a, looks like a tiger moth, some sort of moth. Nice job, <laughs> Matt is just gonna literally, like, ram himself into the fight. Uh, very understandable, we've got the health to spare, it is a very valid resource. We have yet a third pod key, dude, what else is in pod? We have a lot of stuff suddenly. We haven't been in pod yet, have we? I we guess. have not, no. And they dipped Maya for two pod keys, so I'm guessing mm -hmm. there's plenty of things in pod or... Yeah, yeah, so, key. right. Yeah, both Tato and uh, and Matt uh, had gone into the Maya to go to get two pod keys. So certainly it looks like there'd be, there'd be stuff in the back. Um, could still be potentially stuff, something in Harmless Hellway. Uh, maybe you have to go through the bowl oxide or something. Uh, or in this case, the third key is just very nice in order to be able to get, you know, like, just the back and then we can go beat the boss. Oh yeah, okay. I've just had a look at what's in pod. So yeah, we're about to we're about to get some re revelations in this scene now shortly. This oh is, get your is popcorn. This, is... If you haven't got your popcorn <laughs> opened already, this is the time to start opening it. I, I don't know if I can actually eat more popcorn after what we just kind of you know witness on. Uh, on You're gonna Netflix. need to make some room, Wes. You're gonna need to oh, make some no. room. Oh no. Okay, I guess I'm skipping dinner then, if that's the case. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, actually, it's kind of a nice thing. This we actually had all this extra money, you know, we go, we, especially for Matt and Dante's side. Like, we actually just see that you know, money, just like you know, the requirements that we need, we get into pod, chess game, bottle vendor, such things like that. Uh, they have made very good use of basically buying safeties in terms of you know, buy potions, and it's definitely very, very much helped Matt um, at least survive so far. Yeah, but they don't have enough Azora, though. That's the thing. True. True. Wait, what? We need <laughs> no, no. Oh uh, no. I would think that maybe Matt would not have been as liberal with his spending, you know, if uh, we do know that we have uh, a... Oh my god. <laughs> there, yeah, that's right. That's oh a small gosh, key to yeah. the back of End and Thieves' time. No way. Uh, can we... You know, I know that there is a Blame Dante emote. Um, can we get a Thanks Dante emote and a Thanks Skelly <laughs> emote, you know, for... Uh, thank you, Pilots, for telling us just... Uh, helping us navigate this. I cannot imagine you playing this by yourself. It, it looks terrible. I cannot imagine rooting this. This seems a massive pain, this seed. Yeah, especially you don't have a study period, right? Like, you're literally doing this. Oh my, what? Wait, no, yeah. what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? No, no, what did we just see on that side? <laughs> we saw the first key to Castle Tower? Uh, yeah, fun times. Oh, and there's a temperature sword. That's not too bad. Okay, That's okay, not too bad. Okay, there you right. go. You well, were right, Marst. Okay. You were right. You're right. Temperature okay, is okay. just sitting there, available. 
Uh, well, okay, at least we have Temper Sword for the rest of the game, uh, at least on, you know, on Matt and, and Dave. So it looks like, uh, what did we get from the back of Skull Woods? Did we get anything? Um, what, the thing in the bridge chest? The mirror, right? Yeah, uh, right, right, asking? but was something on the boss? I'm just actually wondering in this case, like, why both Matt and Tato rushed uh, Mothula. And, you know, versus coming to pot here first. Um, it because... had, the boss had a, po a pod small. Oh, right, 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 right. Excellent point. Yeah, yeah. Th thank you. Thank you, Sarah Usex. Oh, like, and there's our traditional <laughs> vanilla pot small. There's our fourth pot small inside. Okay, all right. Well, maybe, maybe we could have predicted that, you know. Uh, there's always a blank in pod. We've already seen the hammer. We've already seen the bow. Uh, well, I guess it, there's nothing that prevents the other bow from being here, too. But yeah, what else is left? It's going to be a pot small. Okay, so okay. we get something out of the big chest now. And then we have our one pod small that we need to beat the boss as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay. Perfect. He was All on right. the wrong well, item is... there. <laughs> At least you have a not... lot of time when you come from the top. Yeah, that's true. We just, you, but I guess you have to be even more sure that you don't mess this up. I guess restarting is, is pretty costly. Oh my god, we're beating Aga too. <laughs> Maybe we we're, just want to go and say Aga hello to us. Aga. Maybe we just <laughs> okay. want to go say hello to Aga. Oh my gosh. Yes, uh, that is that is a very, like, I mean, Aga must, like, have... I don't know, we must not have seen Aga in like 50 years or something, you know, to, in order to pay him this special of a visit just to go say hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, alright, okay, so so let's, 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 let's take some stock, basically, on, you know, on this scene, alright? Uh, what have we done so far, uh, in terms of Pendant Dips? We have gone into Pendant Swamp Palace twice, uh, once for the first chest, in order to go get the flute, uh, once, in this case, you go all the way to the left side of Left Side Swamp with no hook shot, in order to go get... Uh, the Big Heat of Desert Palace. Uh, we have gone all the way to Laser Bridge, Pendant Turtle Rock, uh, in order to go get the bow and the, the Swamp Small Key. And now we picked up the TR, uh, the Thieves Town Small Key here in yeah. Pod, meaning we have to go to the back of Pendant Thieves Town. Yeah, and we have to go beat right. Aga. <laughs> I wish you could beat Aga for something. We don't know why yet. <laughs> Dude, Shady, you know, I, I might not be eating for the next day. <laughs> Give up what we had to go do. Oh yeah. Well, we chose a good seed, Mus. We, yeah, we, we did. Uh, we we'll did. We did. Who rolled this team, by the way? <laughs> we should. We should give proper credit where it's due. Credit? You mean blame? Yes. <laughs> you know, credit, thanks, blame. You know, torches. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm good with any of those words. Is is half magic available somewhere? By the way, out of curiosity. Uh, well, let's have a look, because um, it would have been quite useful in the sea. Oh, uh, no. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No? Okay. It's... It's in GT. I don't think they're gonna get it, but I'm actually not 100% sure. Oh my gosh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shady. Uh, thank you for the excellent reminder that of all the things that we still need for all of our dungeons, we still need that GT big key. It does not uh, give me hope in my mind. That uh, we're just going to be able to skip the base mess of GT <laughs> and be able to climb immediately. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, the seat's the seat's actually oh, quite the funny. Oh, seat is amazing. I really hope the that Matt and Dante and Tato and Skelly don't have anything else to do this afternoon. Um, I I will say probably given uh, the overall kind of like um, actually like physical health situation between Dante and Skelly. Like I know they haven't been they've been kind of under the weather recently. Uh, maybe they were kind of hoping for a shorter scene, <laughs> you know, like one, you know, easy breezy, you know, like, oh, okay, let's just go get, you know, like the, the, the stuff for the seven crystals, you know, dip any pen in dungeons, maybe we'll dip one or two, you know, it's, and then, <laughs> here, here we are, uh, we pretty much have to, I think, dip every single part of this game. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to I'm trying to take stock of where the what the race situation is now. So um, it looks like Tito has desert and Hera cleared, which are both kind of quick. Um, but Matt has already done pod and he's halfway through Eastern. I still think Tito's in the lead here. I think Tito has still has a small lead, but it's not super clear. It's hard to judge because of the different dungeons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And in terms in terms of um, execution, right? It's uh, it's also going to be a little bit harder. I mean, I know they both have uh, boots and temper sword, uh, but still, you know, you can still get you know some amount of variation for that as well. And we know there's a lot of seed left as well. Right. Yes, we we did figure that out <laughs> based on uh, based on the, the items that they have collected. Yes, based yeah. on the revelations that they had. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, 
All right, looks like they'll, in this case, all right, so Tato's gonna start his Helma fight. Meanwhile, Matt is at least making his way back to Armos Knights. I guess we'll see in this case if uh, silvers are readily accessible. I do think that both Tato and Matt has enough health um, in order to at least take down Vitreous, you know, like the, the old-fashioned way with Tempered Sword. And of course, they also do have Cape, so anything does go wrong, right? They do have plenty of, you know, buffer in order to, you know, to spin. But of course, silver arrows would also make the fight not, a lot nicer. Yeah, we still don't have uh, Meyer Big, though. That's true. We also so we do not have the Meyer Big. We can't beat Vidi yet. Um, what, okay, what else are we missing? We need the Meyer Big, we need the GT Big. We need t uh, Thief Stump Big? Uh, well, we don't know what we need that for. Maybe we don't. Maybe that was a mistake. There is no up. way that they picked up the, the Thief Stump small key in the shooter room <laughs> if they did not need that key. <laughs> The Shoot only... him so quick. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the only but we... like way that the the key is useful is if we have to go to the back. So yes, we also don't have a hook shot yet. We oh shady. Do we know the hover situation of these guys? Uh, okay, hover I do not bounce. believe. Okay, so Matt, I believe, can hover uh, under duress. Um, under I actually, duress. That's, a, yes. that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coincidentally, I think, uh, so Matt was actually, you know, at Speed Gaming Live, uh, uh, what about, like, maybe about a couple weeks ago, and one of his group seeds was a, ho uh, was a hover seed, and he spent seven minutes trying to hover Moldorm 2. He eventually got it! Uh, yeah. But, you know, I, I, like I said, I, I, I believe that he can, because I think as part of, like, if you're on Team Pugs, um, that is a requirement. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, like, uh, on demand or anything, but I do believe that that has to, you know, happen. Tato, I don't see how. That's not that's not part of the name, though, is it? Like, they're not Team Washed. <laughs> well, Wash just means that they have to hover every day. Uh, yeah. Pugs means that you have to just be able to hover. You don't, see, Pugs don't need to practice. That's, that, that's the difference. Pugs just means you need to, like be a pug and that, that's, have a yes, dark sprite. <laughs> so is Matt actually, I think he's just dark link. I didn't even notice that until, until now. Uh, but I think, yeah, for Tato, I'm actually not sure. I, I want to say he does not hover. Maybe he bounces. If I, anyone knows in chat, that would be helpful. I'm fairly sure he bounces. I also don't think he hovers. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. Um, any teammates in chat might want to let us know yeah, there? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm trying to actually remember who their, their teammate is. Uh, I don't want to get this wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Okay, you, you are the third teammate, correct? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I thought it was- I thought it was- I thought it was Mr. Ed, but I- I was just like, okay, I don't want to get this wrong by, by not saying anything, so... Okay, we are on our way to uh, up on the top of Castle Tower. So, by the way, like going doing Castle Tower, um, it would ideally be the best, I think, for at least from the pilot's perspective, for the early game because man, you get like three minutes basically, right, to basically you know try to figure out the route. Yeah. Your runner is literally doing nothing except going, you know, climbing the tower, right, which is a great, you know, amount of time. Late game, you're just like, oh, it's okay, you know, it's, it's something to do, I guess. It's funny because they did have access because they had the sword and the cape, but they just didn't have magic. <laughs> So and, and keys, right? They still need keys. Oh, sorry, the keys. I, f I totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, no, no, it's no. Keys no okay. <laughs> it's keys it happens all the time. I and know. They were, uh, they were the both time. in pod, weren't they? They were. Yes, they were. Literally, yeah, they were both in pod. Behind. Um, you know, the key pod keys and mostly in Meyer. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. Disgusting scene. Again, thank you, Skelly. Thank you, Dancy, for helping us <laughs> figure out this scene. Okay. Yeah, so it actually does look like right now, so yeah, Tato is starting his climb for Aga Tower, and Matt is uh, basically um, you know, on the verge of finishing up. But keep in mind still that Matt still has the back of Desert, and he has Hera to go complete. So it's not, you know, as you said, right, like, it's it still looks pretty close. Um, it, it does not look like um, Tato is basically one Aga Tower behind. That's not the case here. No, it's very close. I still think Tito was a slight lead, but it yeah, is it, Yes, close. it's definitely hard very to call, possible. Though. It's hard to mm -hmm. tell. Yeah, yeah, and especially in this case, we don't actually know what kind of maybe equipment um, Matt is gonna have uh, before maybe he gets to Desert and uh, Hera. You know, it, it could have been being a little bit faster, I guess I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, the most you can gain is like Silvers will save maybe a couple of seconds on the fight, but you should, mm -hmm. be, you should be having a good fight with a Fire Rod anyway. So I think their equipment's pretty good for both of those dungeons. Mm -hmm. Well, I, okay, a Hookshot would materially save time in Hera. Yeah, if yeah, that's that 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 is definitely true. If the hookshot exists in the seed. If the hookshot exists, all right. Well, we will the temper sword in existence. Surely we can will hookshot into existence. Nice. 
six blue balls. Thank you, Sarah UX. That is a long fight. I mean, well, we'll obviously know that in this case, uh, both people need to do it. Uh, it it's always kind of like a feel, feels um, scary feeling uh, when you don't know necessarily if it's an Agassi and you just kind of go and hope that it is, and then the more blue balls you get. <laughs> so yeah, just, like, that adds to your stress. <laughs> uh, I think you should dash straight up there, Matt, if you go in the warp. But mm -hmm. that's, the warp is probably... Warp is slightly, by, by a small margin, the fastest way to get to the Lumberjack. From Yeah, it's always really cool to see in this case. Mm -hmm. I still prefer the west side breeze route, just because it seems yeah. cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, of course, yeah. Well, we're on the west side and we get to breeze for once. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, get your drum rolls in. What are we going right, to see here at the Lumberjack? What's back here? Is are you going to be mad if you scout this by yourself? Is it going to be some fetch quest? No, oh it's a big key. God, it's a big key. I love seeing big keys on Sweet. Lumberjack. Oh my gosh. Meyer, yeah, okay, <laughs> we need that. We sure do. I mean, I mean, this is this is like, again. It's like you play this by yourself. You don't have the spoiler lock. You don't have a pilot. You don't have <laughs> someone to uh, share your experiences with. And you see the big key and lumberjack. You're like, oh man, I really hope I don't need that key. And then uh, suddenly both castle tower keys show up and pawn. And you're just like, that that big key on lumberjack. Suddenly's looking very very suspicious. Yeah, well, at this stage, they're missing the Meyer big and also the GT big. So the GT big. good it's point. Like, good point. We okay. have literally. I would just you would almost just do Aga, assuming it's one of those two. Very fair, yeah. They have most of the others. Mm -hmm. I guess That's they don't have Thieves point. or Swamp. I guess it's 50-50 then. That it would be required in an unspoiler. That's, yeah, but that, that that seems still... Like, you haven't seen a lot of these things. And, like, the things that um, the you know potential big keys, especially, like, you know, these down big key, can actually unlock a lot of stuff. You're, if you're playing by yourself, right? There are four items in the back. So, it's... You know, like, you actually might be more incentivized to just go do that and just, you know, basically see in this case what big key it is. Okay, Matt has taken the left side route to Viddy. Which I believe is a tiny bit slower, but I think the fire snake just got in the way. So he's going yeah, okay. And when you pick up the arrow pot in the main room, in the main lobby, it just kind of throws off everything a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's kind of why he ended up going this way, which is slightly Makes longer. But he, he can definitely blame Dante for not putting him in more <laughs> arrows. That, that's what that's what Dante is for. No, oh, yeah, exactly. Let me let me just yeah. I mean, that's part of the pilot's job in the route and everything else. I mean, I certainly do understand though. You as a you know from a team's perspective, you really do have to kind of watch, especially late game, um, or you know before uh, anytime basically after Eastern, um, you know, especially coming into Vitrius, like you really want uh, eight regular arrows. Um, to basically fight the boss, so I'm really glad in this case Matt was at least thinking. Um, well, he's also the one having, that has to actually go physically go beat the boss, so you know it certainly <laughs> to his best interest to go pick up a couple extra arrows. <laughs> um, so it's going to be interesting when he gets to the boss. Is he going to do the pure NMG strat, which is better and faster and more consistent, but scarier because you're taking hits, or is he going to be using the cape? The cape is well, slower. He has the cape out. A little bit. So mm -hmm. I guess he's doing that. He doesn't have a lot of magic though. Oh, he's kind of doing both, I guess. Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! I wasn't scared. Oh my god. Nobody was scared. Nobody was scared. That Matt knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, yeah, that is no a really scary oh. fight, though. The point where the cape is about to run out, and then you kind of cape locked as like the animation oh, plays. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's mm -hmm. danger zone right there. Yeah, because, well, you can also just get touched by anything, you know, it's like, and, you know, again, like, one of the benefits, that, so Tato still has a fairy, for what it's worth, right? And one of the benefits of having a fairy versus a potion is that if anything does t go terribly wrong, as in, like, you can't press the right buttons fast enough, you get locked out, your, eat your inputs get eaten, whatever, uh, if you die, the fairy at least will revive you. You can 100% die and not be able to use a potion, and basically, so the fairy can actually save you in that situation. Um, so I just realized now that Tato... Pleated Desert on its own. Correct, yeah. Um, instead of combining with Meyer. But I am but I see now Matt is combining it, so obviously Tito didn't need to do that. Maybe that's a slight inefficiency. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Um, but maybe it was also something for, you know, for, for like Tato to go do, right? Maybe Skelly was also trying to figure out more stuff in the seed. And just like, I need something to go do. And we couldn't beat Meyer at the time, so... It, it, well, maybe, it, that, was, maybe that was combined with his dip of... Meyer, so maybe it's mm -hmm. actually doesn't make a difference either way. Yeah, it's probably it's probably it's probably not a big deal. Yeah, and it looks like in this case, uh, well, unless okay, we I guess we don't have a verdict yet on the on the tablets yet, um, but it certainly does look like this book is not coming <coughs> to play. 
Unless, of course, there is something on either tablet. It would kind of suck if something was on Bombo's tablet because we've already been to the Swamp Palace area, like that entrance, like, at, you know, two times, at least two times now, and we don't need, really necessarily need a third to go uh, get the one off. Mm, yeah, I'm kind of looking now to see what's on the tablets. Are those required? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Question I mean, we're gonna mark. find out. Uh, well, we might. We're gonna still find out. You know, whether uh, it was a correct decision to go pick up the book and compass just the Swamp Palace on Matt and Dante's side versus not picking it up here on uh, Tato and Skelly's side. Yeah, this is. I don't. Okay, well, they're not required, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> <Our pleasure. laughs> they might be useful though. <laughs> All right. Well, Tato I can tell is... actually. This is quite. A, this is such an oh interesting scene. I love it. Okay. Well, Tato, I think was trying to maybe avoid like running out of complete magic when he was using the cape, but uh, he was really close to that lightning, <laughs> which I'm. Yeah, he wondering. had the fairy though, so. Joke. Okay. That's also true. True. It would be still... kind of annoying, I think, maybe from his perspective that he like, he's like I got hit, but you know, it's it's like I could have used the fairy for something else. Yeah, maybe he wants to waste the fairy and then. Get a potion. Maybe the potion is mm -hmm. more useful later on. Yeah, yeah, very true. Yeah, we also see, we saw Matt make multiple trips over to uh, to the the potion shop in order to go buy him some some safeties. Okay, so Matt's up here, and we're clearing Hera, which is going to be uh, crystal number seven, I think. Yeah, I think you're absolutely correct. Yeah. So uh, we have, yeah, I, I think I think your assessment, by the way, after all that's said and done, Tato is going to be uh, just a little bit higher, uh, except he's going to spend a little bit of extra time backtracking. Okay, we we did find we we made it before the, we made it before the screen transition. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's that's like half of his lead right there, actually. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> <laughs> the margin the margin of uh, that Tato actually has right now over Matt is uh, actually, as you mentioned, very like kind of like razor thin. It is just a handful of seconds. He's going to basically go up here. Matt's already basically onto Moldrum too. He can. Um, I don't want to wish any ills here on Matt. We're just going to hope that he has a very nice, clean Moldrum fight. But yeah, the like <laughs> we're 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 a handful of seconds right now apart between Tato and Matt. Okay, so we're going into GT. Uh, we do not yet have the uh, GT big, and we also do not yet have the hookshot, which we think at least one of these runners hard requires, and the other, let's just say soft requires. <laughs> we also don't have the swamp dig for what it's worth. Just saying, you know. No, there's nothing in. <laughs> no, swamp, no, of course not. Surely, surely, surely no. <laughs> <laughs> surely. All right. Okay. We got. We have entry on Tato's side um, at 111. I want to. What is our 101? And Matt. Yeah. It's gonna be looking about maybe what 30 seconds of difference now. Something. Like that. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, we um, get the GT entry. Well, let's. Yeah. About 30 seconds is right. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Th this... I'm sorry, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing here in Turtle Rock again? Uh, well, th this is interesting, right? Because... Um, I did look this up, and that's why I was wondering about the tablets. There is a GT Small on one of the tablets, but we don't really need that because the others are available, and one of them is right here that Matt's picking up. And I don't know if Tito needs that or not. How many GT smalls do we have? I mean, the, so we have so zero. Just... Not, well, they had zero before that one. Ah, uh, well, if we're ah uh, okay, we can get as far as uh, up to a rando room. It looks like actually Skelly uh, or Tato has maybe thought about uh, some potential GT problems here. He had the mirror out for for a sec. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. If we if you're short one key and we do need to leave GT, we can get that key later. Okay, okay. That, that that's actually We think we do point. need to leave yeah, GT, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because they both have a, a thieves tag small. Right. That's actually a good point. Okay, it looks like we're going to Wow. Wow. It looks like we're sequence breaking left side without the hook shot. I, you know, people have talked about playing seeds uh, where you don't break like the seeds logic, right? Like, as in, you know, like no dark rooms before a lamp, 
Uh, you know, you can only do like the back of pod with only like four keys or whatever it is. I would be very interested to see what this seed would be like without breaking logic. <laughs> okay, so there's the GT big. It's in Rando room. It is in Rando room. So that uh, is. Did... That's hover go mode, right? That is, yes. Oh, so hover slash mentioned... bounce go mode. So why did we get this Thieves Town small key? Well, we don't think either of them hovers, right? Yeah. But, well, no, no. So, so Matt, I believe again, he can hunter, he can hover under duress, and or you know, uh, if if push comes to shove, I do believe that he is capable of doing so. And and, and I know, and I don't imagine it taking him, you know, seven minutes. Uh, hopefully, uh, Tato though um, sounds like then there is going to be some version of bounce. We are getting something else here in GT. Well, if Tito was going to bounce, he'd be going upstairs now. He would not be here. True. Good point. Okay, um, so, maybe so we are. We're killing ice armos, and we have 19 of the 18 arrows we need, so... That's good. So we're not going to have any left to climb anyway. That's also a very good... Mm, okay, suddenly I'm, I'm a bit worried now for okay. Tato and Skelly, because we... Yeah, so okay, well, one is going to have to basically find... Oh, no. We yeah, gotta fight, we gotta this fight. Yeah, but then also, like, what, as, as you said, like, what are we gonna do for Mimics up, up, upstairs? I um, mean, he's, he's not climbing. If he's, he would, he would be climbing already if he was going to. He's not climbing. Tito isn't. But Matt obviously is. So mm -hmm. Matt is going to commit to the hover and, or bounce. And Tito is grabbing the Thieves big. Oh my god. Which I guess oh we suspect. My god. Yeah, oh my and, god. And uh, we are leaving and going to Thieves Town, I guess. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not a great feeling, it, it seems like. If you like are watching, I mean, if you maybe understand that you, you think that your opponent can hover and try to get through, uh, it is... <laughs> it's, you, just, it's so, you have to hope that they're maybe not as consistent as they maybe once were. Yeah, so um, I wonder what they were pla whether they were always intending to go to thieves on both sides, or whether it was going to be dependent on the race situation. Because Matt mm -hmm. was obviously slightly behind, so following what Tito does was only going to pay off if he thought he could catch him. And there was there was a decent sized gap there. It was like thirty seconds, right? Yeah. So maybe Matt oh, feels oh, yeah. like he needs mm -hmm. to pull off this hover. Very, very possible. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like getting to. Behind. Yeah, yeah, and then like to get to the Thieves Town big key, like we saw, it was all the way behind Ice Armos, right? So it was kind of a painful trek in order to go, uh, aim and go get. Not to mention we have to go, we have to leave the mountain, go back all the way to Thieves Town. Like maybe if it were in, I don't know, like Turtle Rock or something, right? Maybe get the book out of GT to go get the tablet, you know, on Ether Tablet. Like that would be fine, as long as you don't have to leave the mountain. It, w it would be basically a lot, you know, a lot cheaper, but this is a very, very expensive hookshot. But I mean, like, you know, there's a difference between necessity and uh, luxury, right? If you if you can't get past that Molden 2 gap, um, this is something that is required for you to do. So. Yeah, it's just, I was sure, I was sure Tito was able to bounce, so um, I'm a little surprised he's not going for that. But like, then again, pulling off a bounce in an actual race like this Yeah, is, I was, yeah, was going to say, this scary. might also might be too high pressure, it, right, yeah. Like, it's kind of one thing to be able to, you know, like, bounce and then kind of even take your time on, you know, maybe less, less high pressure seats. <laughs> uh, or, like, less, you know, seats with a fewer stakes, but... I'm kind of wondering now, though, like, why they needed to pick up the Thief Small if we're not going to go beat blinds, it looks like, unless, because you know, I assume it's here. Well, oh, no, silver, that's never mind. Silver, okay. But if you're, if you're getting the, uh, I'm guessing the hookshot's here in the cell or something. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing if the hookshot's here, then you're going to want to grab your silvers as well. Yeah, that's very fair. But I'm guessing Matt and Dante hadn't made up their mind at the time whether they were going here oh, or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, or okay. you grab it just yeah. in case. Very, very fair. Yeah, in that case, like I think it's very pragmatic, as you mentioned before, to yeah. kind of like hedge your bets just in case, right? If we actually end up needing this. Um, it looks like. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Matt got Matt has enough keys because he got that uh, the extra one in turn one. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's another thing that uh, Tito's gonna have to do. He has to get get one of the uh, GT smalls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Because he he like stole one, but he went all the way to Rando Room. Yeah, so okay. he's used it up, and he needs one for the climb. Okay, so that's right. uh, that's one fall. We're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna hover. Somehow we're not gonna take damage. Otherwise, we're gonna be health limited here. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that yep. spot is, but I think a spot exists somewhere. 
Somewhere. Uh, we also, man, I mean, I don't know how cooperative Moldorm is gonna be. Because, you know, Moldorm also can't really get in your way, you know? Uh, but, alright, so, so the clock has started ticking on Matt's side. Like, well, it has always been kind of ticking, but, you know, it feels must be much more real now. So, Tato has obtained his hookshot from the back of Thieves Town. And we are now going to start the climb. Now, granted, Matt does, in this case, have, like, a good amount of buffer time. But he has a limited amount of time before Tato catches up here. Uh, very, yeah, very it's, tense. He has approximately that seven minutes you mentioned that he did the other day. <laughs> oh, let's not bring back terrible uh, memories from potentially. Yeah. Uh, but you know, uh, again, all all faith in Matt. He has done this before. Uh, he and I do believe that he was not, not dark pug uh, when he ended up hovering or successfully. Now, and uh, keep in mind, he this is not, of course, the first time he's tried to hover Moldrum too. I think there were also group matches uh, matches in the like main tournament. Yeah, a year or two ago or something like that. Um, and, you know, it was also a hover seat, and um, Matt, like, again, he is able to do so under pressure. I can't believe Matt's gonna lose this race because he didn't choose the Pug Sprite. <laughs> team meeting? Are we having a team meeting after this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, like, hey. hovering's free when you're the Pug, right? That's true, that's true. Maybe uh, maybe we're looking for a trade here. You know, Matt can take a spot in uh, and wash for we all should hover every day. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was starting to look good, but uh, he's not quite getting it. But like the nerves, but he still has a he still has a decent cushion. Oh yeah, for sure. And you know he's got he's got Dante as a coach, right? It's not like you know Dante's like, okay, I'm done. You hit go mode. Good luck, dude. And you know we got you know Dante also probably gonna give some tips or whatnot, uh, whatever kind of takes in order to help him, you know, help his teammate get his get over this gap. And you know, as far as I yeah. know, Matt does not know how to bounce. Yeah, but if you do know how to hover, even if it's unreliable, it's probably still better and faster to mm -hmm. just make the hover just, just try keep trying with the hover yeah yeah um unless you're very good at bouncing and not good at hovering but um hovering is generally easier like as i get it done one time it's generally easier than the bounce I yeah think. yeah i think, I think that's fair to say how reliable is the bounce, Shady? Like, I know you have an emo for this. <laughs> um, it's... If you are very good at the pause buffering and you're good at the setup and stuff, I think um, the best bouncers who... And I'm, I guess I would say call people like um, Aussie, maybe, or people like that. Mm -hmm. um, they would get it... I think they would expect to get it every second attempt, 50%-ish. Oh, so really? Like, yeah. It's, it's yeah. that reliable? Oh, that and, is, yeah. that is actually like, much obviously higher Obviously, there's RNG. You can get a few bad RNG movements in a row, obviously, but I think I think on average, you could get it 50% uh, of attempts. But like that's if you do it, if you get all the movements perfectly and the pause buffering perfectly, which it, themselves aren't free. So you can get very good enough to make it pretty reliable, but, it's, but it is hard. It's hard work, and it's a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. All right, we did get a little further, okay, on, uh, you know, on Matt's side, trying to hover this gap. Uh, but yeah, the 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 gap is certainly closing. Um, Tato is making made he's made very excellent work of the gauntlet so far, and uh, I kind of have to already seen uh, because in this case he went to took the time to go get the hook shot. Uh, Silver's were. Uh, pretty much right next door, you know, you know with the Thieves Town small key. So he is also gonna have a uh, so like he's also gonna have a faster face for Ganon fight. Yeah, that silver's uh, offset so some of the time to go get mm -hmm. the, the not a lot of the time, but some of the time. It's yeah, it's looking it's looking good for Tito, but Matt still has a maybe another two, three attempts, maybe even just two attempts now. Yeah, but definitely get you know all your you know. Prage hover emotes, you know, in order to help Matt here. I mean, this is an extremely high pressure situation. Uh, you know that your opponent is coming for you. Uh, you are trying to get the hover, and this is <laughs> the the more attempts in this case you end up making, just kind of like the it just seems like like the like the anxiety meter, right? Or you know, like the the, the mental pressure is just growing. I think this would have to be it, but even then, it's going to be very close. Oh, yeah, it, I think, I think Tito has the lead now. I think this is Tito's race to lose. Yeah, definitely looks like it. So it's really big, big, very big hope here for Matt, though. He has been trying, like, extremely hard in order to try to get to, you know, get past this gap. Oh. 
Oh, that was that was really. Oh, really that was close. a pretty good effort. Mm -hmm. There's a little bomb drop then to yeah. show his <laughs> Tito showing his approval for the seed. Oh my gosh, uh, this seed, this seed has been something, <laughs> both from a routing and a and a running pr perspective. Yeah, like I think Matt made the right decision because of his deficit. He had a, sure, he had a 30 second sure. deficit, so he felt he had to take the alternate strat mm -hmm. to Tito. Yeah, because like so, Matt was kind of behind Tato by what you mentioned, like 30, 30 some seconds or something like that, right? And yeah. man, it is it is also maybe kind of harder to kind of make that call, like when you end up first getting your GT Biggie from Rando Room. Uh, in this case, like maybe if you know that Tato's gonna go and get the Stun Biggie, you know, from Isar behind Isar and then leave and then come back, like I don't know, maybe if you think you have the execution edge over Tato. Uh, you would actually just go follow and then, you know, just beat him outright uh, and not have to necessarily worry about this. But but again, yeah. like, if you think that you can hover the gap, right, it is absolutely 100% the right correct uh, the call to make in order to uh, in order to try and get get over the gap here without the hook shot. Yeah, I, I would expect Matt to make up some time, but 30 seconds is a decent gap. It Matt is Tito, a lot, for Tito's sure. Tito's pretty mm -hmm. fast. Tito's a pretty strong runner. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Matt would reliably make up that 30 seconds. That's a tough call as well. It, it is, it is. So, so Tato has a defeated Agatu. We have landed on Ganon. Mm. And Tato, this is, uh, yeah, Yuzo mentioned this is Tato's race to lose. We, uh, he just needs to not die here on Ganon. Uh, and then uh, it will uh, looking like a potential victory for a team brought worse buddies. What a, man, what a, what a turnaround race here. What a crazy seed as it well. It is, like, it is. Full of, full of decisions, even right at the end. All right, Matt may end up taking like a little bit of a break. But yeah, we're almost done with phase three uh, on Tato's side. We're all, never mind. We're already on phase four. <laughs> Gonna get a little sprit uh, spritz here for good luck on Tato's side. And uh, that is a very nice triple to wrap things up on Team Bratwurst Buddies for Tato and Skelly. Get your GGs out in chat for their victory in this uh, best of three series between themselves and the Pugs. GG's, what a great race. Yeah, it was. And definitely get your G's out in chat from Matt. Like, I mean, he played very, very well. Both both pilots did extremely well in order to try and navigate the seed because it was terrible. Uh, I mean, and this was this was this was quite the quite the turnaround. But yeah, we'll see if we can get our runners in for mm -hmm. a very interesting interview. I think there's a lot of interesting questions to ask here. Oh yeah. I really just hope that Matt doesn't feel too bad. I mean, this was a. I mean, it didn't look like the the, the 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 hover was just like very very difficult to to execute here today. We are joined though by Matt and Dante. You know, GG's guys. GG's fellows. GG's. GG. Dante, are you feeling okay? I mean, health wise. Uh, well, I mean, it was on even footing. I think Skelly's in the same situation I am, but I'm I'm <laughs> I'm feeling sure. pretty good. I'm okay. feeling pretty good today. All, all right. things considered. Um, yeah. Well, what you this say? was I mean, not the the type of routing seed I would want. Uh, <laughs> um, on on COVID brain, but um, you know, uh, it it kind of worked out. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's maybe just like mass chaos. Like so, then you know, if you're gonna struggle just as much, right? Uh, chances are Skelly's probably not having that much of an easier time. This seed was this seed was something. <laughs> This was uh, an absolute mess, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that it was uh, very pragmatic. I think so. So both you and Skelly, or Zeta, all four of you decided to not beat Moth the first time, and that actually sounded like it was a, a good decision. Speaking of, we're also joined by Skelly and Tato. GG's, guys. GG's, gamers. Yeah, GG's. GG's. Yeah, now for the most awkward interview for a long time, I said, I just like, whoa, what a seed. Yeah, yeah, this was yeah. So actually, okay. So yeah, well, we were kind of starting at the beginning of the scene, but I guess like so. At, were you guys always planning on getting the hookshot, um, Skelly and Tato? Or was it? I'm not like able a... to have our normal on bone. So except for doing, I'm sorry, the same as Mad and just dropping down all the time, it was mm -hmm. like yeah, we we have to get this. Yeah, we we knew pretty early on that it would be it like a hover <laughs> seed. But we knew we would have to go for a hookshot anyway, so. 
um, yeah, same question to Dante and Matt, I guess. Like, did you guys decide right away that you were not going to get the hookshot, or were you going to wait and see the race situation, or what was? When was that decision made? So, it was a situation, per- yeah. No, go ahead. Yeah. I was gonna say early on, I I asked Matt like, "How you feel about hovering?" And he was like, "Nah, dude." Um, <laughs> oh, no. And so oh, no. it, it became like you know Matt could do it, and he's done it a lot. Uh, and I was like, "Okay, b- we'll not worry about it. We'll just get it." And then you know he mentioned he's like, "I'm pretty sure Teto can't hover, so there's no time loss for us to have." Um, the problem was I I inflicted a lot of that time loss because I I kind of misrouted a few things in hindsight, but with the way it was so chaotic. Um, it, it was really hard to kind of hit the route on this one. Um, big, I think the biggest thing was me not sending Matt to that first glove down south um, before, you know, having to run back to CAC. So that's an extra amount of time. But uh, but yeah, Matt made the call, and I I, mean, I, I wasn't going to pressure him to to hover. But when we saw we were probably a decent bit behind, we didn't think execution was going to be enough to like overtake. So he kind of made the call to go up and, and go for the hover and. Uh, you know, I was just trying to be as much of an encouragement as I can. Um, you know, hovering under pressure is always crazy, so you never know what could happen. So, like, yeah, it's basically that, right? I just told him I was when we were going to random room. I was like, "Where are they?" And he told me where they were. And I was just like, "We have no choice, right?" Like, my hovering is is okay. It's not terrible, but when you're under pressure, uh, it can be very challenging, right? Like uh, I got what I thought was the worst situation ever and getting a hover seat at SGL where I had to do it. And I was able to eventually do it. Every time I've had to do it, I've been able to do it. Uh, And so that's kind of was like, uh, well, I guess I gotta go for it. But I haven't really been practicing it that much lately. And it's, uh, I don't know, some days you just don't got it, man. And it is what it is. Yeah, it's a really crappy choice to have to make for sure. Yeah, it was kind of like playing outs. I mean, you guys played this seed from what, at least the the little bit I was able to watch, because like I was still trying to get the route together pretty late, um, because <laughs> uh, it was just so chaotic. But with the keys, I was watching all the whole time, and it's it's like, oh, there's a they, they went palace of darkness for the first chest. Oh, there's a small key. They, they might going for the for the silvers. And at the point we went to thieves down way later, it's like, oh, we don't need the small key at all. So I I adapted to all your routing and. And one or two points, I just overtook Skelly's piloting skills mm. and just followed yours at <laughs> one or two <laughs> occasions, maybe. And yeah, we also did a few mistakes. So I'm, I'm still surprised that it was such a close race just until the, the T end. Yeah, it was a difficult seed to route for sure. There were like oh, yeah. a lot of situations where like we could kill bosses, but it seemed like a horrible idea. We yeah. like Mothula <laughs> early on, like we we both did the same thing. We got the mirror and and just left. We we, we watched what we you guys magic. did and we had no we had yeah. no magic, so we really had no choice, right? We <laughs> so slow. Yeah. But like maybe there's some way that you can work that in. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, how do you feel about moth right now? And he's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me see what's down south and see if we could make something happen. And there's like nothing. And I'm like, dude, we've got to at least get that mirror. And I was like, this is going to feel bad. And I don't know if they're doing it because I didn't have the stream up at that point. I was just too busy, like still panicking, I guess, is the way to put it. Yeah, yeah Skelly was with the same thing. Like, oh, this is a horrible seed. It's a hover seed and castle tower. And oh, God, everything has to be done. And um, we were glad you went into that for us. And I was like, I'm not going for this. No, I, we have to make a play to compete against you guys because you are a really great pilot and one other at this point but no no way no way i'm sorry even with magic i think i wouldn't have tried it yeah fair enough like maybe oh, yeah. if you had at least had a hammer or something i could you could maybe pull it off by being really careful but you just had a fighter sword right and no magic right but you yeah, think you've got should... bombo so you can save a little bit of magic and go for a spin and a few firewatch shots but Oh boy, no. <laughs> you still have like three hearts. Maybe there was a, a fourth one somewhere, but like super duper risky. A blue mail, I guess, but yeah. It's, speaking of blue mail, uh, was that a statement from you guys, Dante and Matt? To not go oh, no, uh, not yeah. Uh, actually, it was a big statement. Uh, the statement was, I'm an idiot. Um, I see. Not Matt. <laughs> not Matt, specifically me. I told him two chests, and I swore I told him to get 
the armor one. Let me let me look at this log. Hang on. What did I tell him to get? I told him to get the cape and the cane. And I was like, all right, there's three items back there. Get two chests. Like, that's what I said in my head. So, um, that's on me. But <laughs> we didn't need it. It was fine. It really didn't make a difference. <laughs> there were enough heart containers on the way to kind of make up for uh, my mistake. But that, that's kind of what I mean. Like, just stuff like that. That's kind of why I, I put Matt in that situation. So, um, you know, there, there's not many people who will, uh, I'm going to gas Matt up a little bit, but there's not many people who will just on the fly be like, you know what, I'm going to play my out. I'm going to go for it, you know, full send. And, you know, he, he did it. So I, I can't, I, I can't be upset that he even went for it, you know, so. <laughs> the safeties in this one are actually pretty nice. I mean, powder was free. The cape also was free. Yeah. yeah. But the beginning still, hearts. yeah, less hearts, less swords in the beginning. And a lot of back and forth, like, yeah, we're going now there, we are, oh, yeah, get the get the fluid out of um, Swamp, I guess. So there was one routing mistake we did at this point, but I think with this complexity in the seat, oh, yeah, pretty hard in doing this just from the from the go of the of the runner. So I guess like looking forward, uh... This was so. Like, do you guys have thoughts about game two? Uh, is that kind of like being in the plans, or you know, don't let me, you know, put you guys on the spot or anything like that? Uh, yes, we're going with retrants. I know we're cool. gonna put up myself and Ed. I don't know when we're gonna do it. And I'm but. pretty sure it's Matt and Andy for that one, but I think it's gonna have to be after Thanksgiving. Is the way it's looking. Um, yeah. It kind of also depends, I think, a little bit on Andy's situation. Like, uh, we may have to... I don't know. We may have to figure something out. <laughs> um, yeah. But we'll, Big we'll have to wait Andy and see. to recover. Oh, man. Yeah, there's, just... a, there's a lot of ailments going on between yeah. the six of us. So, Yeah, like, uh, I've I've been sick. Uh, Skelly's been sick. Uh, you know, Andy's whole knee situation. And, um, you know, there's probably more I, I'm not even sure about. So... <laughs> Certainly, man. I really got. I just want you guys to recover and you know basically be a bit back to back to normal as soon as possible. Uh, you guys are real troopers, by the way. Basically, uh, as you said, both you know on the men, but maybe probably not. You know, not. I don't even know if you're like eighty percent at this point, but like you guys still you know power through. Basically, still the pilot spoiler race, which is, um, I'm yeah. Uh, you mentioned this before. I'm sure you were really hoping this was gonna be like a you know easy you know fifty minute like let's just go you know get a couple items and just go to the bosses and instead of whatever whatever this the seat of. Of a seed was. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of yeah. nice, but it was fun. I love this mode, even though I'm not great at it. Yeah, it's it's a different type of stressful when you're you're piloting. You know, like um, I I definitely would not say I'm the best at piloting anybody. Uh, but you know, Matt and Andy running uh, could definitely <laughs> make up for it for me sometimes. But um, but yeah, GG's guys and um. Looking forward to watching game two. Yeah, GG's guys. Yeah, GG. Yeah, GG. And best of luck for for the game two. All of four of you, I'm I'm sitting on. I'm glad I can sit this out. Yeah, me and Tato <laughs> can just uh, sit back and, and laugh about it and watch and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, this was so stressful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I I watched all <laughs> the time what what happened at Matt's side, and I we were in the same shoes. It's like yeah, I'm going for the hook shot. They're going for the hover, and if they if they manage to hover, I'm. I'm still sitting out. There's no way to to. They can mess up Ganon twenty times. So yeah, it, it's yeah. like, oh, I won't. I won't lie. I turned your audio on for just a little <laughs> bit as soon as as soon as we oh. started climbing, and I was like, Matt, they sound upset. I was like, you got <laughs> this. You got this. So, <laughs> sorry for that, Red. It, it's, it's meant in a in a way like all those discussion about things allowed or not allowed. And it, it, it was a little bit like, they are playing the game, it's fine. I would have done the same in their shoes. They, they went on the spot like, this is close, we are going for it. And sure. I, I think I said it as well, like, if Matt isn't able to do this, we are just switching positions in, in which you mm -hmm. were like totally upset and be like, I hate this game. Why did this happen? We can just watch at this point. So it, it, it was a situation. Nobody's really want to be in at that point, I guess. I mean, Even if you can watch the other one, yeah. Don't get me wrong. If I was running this, I 100% would go for the hover in this. 
Like, no question about it. Uh, absolutely, it's, to it's totally fine. It's unlucky at my position be like, oh yeah, this is my yearly hover seat. Thanks for this occasion today. <laughs> I'd be bouncing. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would be another point. Should should still do this maybe. How many climbs I would need for the bounce? That's up for debate, but that's what I'd be going for. <laughs> you are lucky if the wrist warps get you the, the the precious prize pack and you can always refill with bombs and hearts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shady, I heard that information. Shade, if you and I are racing, we'd still be at Moldorm two right now. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are the what are the wisdoms drop? Are they bombs? <laughs> I don't know in this seat. I had a seat once in the ladder and I just tried it for one hour straight and falling down, going back. I'm not going ever to do this again. Uh, we switched to the hearts group, right? They're just dropping rupees. Oh, okay. That's that's kind of that's kind of lame. That's no yeah. good to anyone. Money yeah. to buy bombs and help. Nothing. We still need the arrows at some point. It's like, oh yeah, arrows. This is another problem for ice almost right now because I just misshot a few. And, uh, st and then uh, Scully with uh, the stun prize is a nice idea, but with a mistakenly taken red meringue, you can't really stun anything in GT. Bad. Bad luck. No well, convenient Feel better, tops. guys. Feel better. Get better. Hopefully soon. And then, yeah, best of luck in, in retrance as well for game two. Be on, this, uh, be on the lookout for that schedule. And thank you guys so much for racing today. Thank you for yes, Talk to you later. Yep. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much. I want to thank Sarah UX for tracking. Uh, did a phenomenal job, uh, especially this this terrible of a scene. <laughs> Sorry, this this one fun experience uh, that the viewers and commentators had of the seed. Uh, so thank you, thank thank you so much, Shady. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking. This was this was a blast. Yeah, this is we we picked a great one, didn't we? Yes, this you is absolutely so did. much fun. <laughs> like this is really hard work for all four mm -hmm. of these dudes. Uh, yeah, rooting yeah. was hard, and then the uh, the execution was hard in certain places as well. And yeah, they they worked hard. Um, was... All of the uh, all of the SG, the medical team, yeah. <laughs> trying to get them on their oh, feet. Yeah. Oh yeah, no <laughs> multiple multiple potions. That's right. Yeah, they're they're they're, they're, they're all potioned yeah. up. They're all red potioned up, trying to get ready for this race. <laughs> and they did a great job. But this was a lot of fun. And thank you so much, Mouse. This is a pleasure as always. Oh no, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I hope we can get you know another one of these in you know some point. Of course, uh, yeah. Best of luck, of course, obviously to yourself in game two of your series, whenever that happens to be. Uh, but yeah, in terms of other races that are going on now, I believe there are. I want to say that there's at least one going on on um, what is it? SG two, I think. Um, I think those are races wrapping up in about thirty minutes on SG two. There's going to be um, a. Oh, man, let me see what. Oh, okay. It's going to be game two for uh, co-op retros between uh, Sawyer and Sean, uh, Secretly a Sliver versus Breathless Sleep and Plasma Snake. Um, so that'll be actually fun uh, for 10 p.m. on SG2. And then I think we have a couple of races uh, later on this evening. Um, and the ALTPR League at 8 p.m. is uh, Bitey versus Timp. And then uh, on 8.40 is going to be, uh, looks like, Merith and Pichu and versus uh, Spy and Bright Eyed 77. Uh, so, yeah, definitely keep your eyes on schedule. There's always a lot more Reno to be watching. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Yep, thanks so much. Take care, everyone.